Hey, how's it going, guys? Trickster here, and uh, I know this is, <laughs> once again, a little bit late here, but as promised, uh, here's my video on a really cool tool that uh, you guys can use uh, if you're interested in OSCP or um, even not, uh, even if you, you know, you're know you just interested in CTFs or pen testing, stuff like that, this tool outside of the OSCP could still be really useful, and I've actually used it um, in other areas like Hack the Box and even during my own pen test assessments uh, in my job, actually. Pretty cool tool here. It's called Reconnoiter. Um, kind of weird name. Uh, spelled like this. Uh, this is the tool here. If we do a dash H, um, we can see the different arguments and stuff that it takes. But basically, uh, this is a reconnaissance tool, as the name would kind of imply. And it's it's utilizing Nmap. And this is a really cool tool. And I'll, I'll dig in here and show you just how neat it is, the things that it can do. Um, you can do, like, pink, pink sweeps, a DNS, and, like, you know, SMP and, and different stuff like that. Uh, but mostly what I'm using this for is... I'm using the services flag here to perform a service scan over targets. So I'll give it like a target. Um, the way I've normally been using this in the OSCP to great effect is I've, you know, I give it a target IP address and um, I I run the services uh, flag, and basically it it automates a ton of like Nmap stuff. So basically it'll do the initial scan and, and I actually did run it above here I'll show you what it looks like essentially so here you see I ran it um, and and you know I, I gave it this is one of the hack the box machines by the way uh, called flux capacitor so you give it an output uh, file or output um, name and uh, this box in particular was flux capacitor one of the retired boxes uh, that's why I named it that and you see like it gives you this little banner here and then it just steps through. So the first thing you're going to see is it's going to say that um, it's creating these directories. Um, and this is just the directory structure that it creates for you. And I'll show you what that looks like here in a second. But um, the first thing it does is a quick Nmap scan. So this is kind of like if you were to do, for example, something like, say, like Nmap uh, SV... Um, and then, you know, I don't know, we can look at the code, you can look at the code to see the exact scan it does, but uh, I'm saying it's probably something similar to, like, if I were to run Nmap like this, or whatever, it's going to do quick ones. It also does quick UDP scans as well. Um, so it's kind of like, you know, like a, a version detection kind of scan. It might They might run, like, the default scripts as well, I'm not exactly sure. Um, I know when you get the full scan, it definitely does, but without rambling on too much, it's going to do a quick scan, you know, the common, well, like a thousand ports or whatever it is. And, uh, it was really neat is as it finds the services, it, it tells you here. So basically you can start looking up, looking at this stuff as soon as you, as soon as it finds it. So it's like, you're just waiting on this to run. Boom. HTTP. You can just go. But here's what's even cooler than that. So, you know, obviously it tells you all the services it finds. But for a long time, you know, it's going to take a while till th they actually complete. Um, and once it does, it runs a full. So, but but while you're waiting on, on this quick scan to complete, what you can do, and this is really neat, I think this is one of the real powers of the tool, is, you know, let's see, go into flux capacitor... Now, here's that directory structure we were talking about here. You go into scans in this case, and you can cat the findings, um, which is uh, right here. You can cat this findings.txt, and this is like what you can do like before the scan even completes. This is the true power of it to me. It's really good for helping you out if you're like a... a you know, beginner, intermediate level uh, pen tester because it's going to give you some example commands of, like, uh, different things you can try, which is really cool. It's like you can run a derb or, like, a derbuster, go buster um, to find, like, you know, with these particular word lists 
to find hidden directories, common directories, and you can tee it to this file so you can save it to a file. Um, so it's like really cool and it, it has one for like each different service. So say we had um, SMB running, it would give you some SMB enumeration commands that you can run like it would tell you like you know enum for linux dash a like you know tee it to a file to save it and like you know it'll you know tell you i like, use nmb lookup you know use like rpc client um and it, it'll tell you like straight up what command to run for each open service which is really cool i found this to be really helpful to me when i was um when I was like first getting started here and I still run it because it's pretty useful and it's nice to have like to automate a lot of the end map uh, stuff for you. And you know, sometimes like you'll see, I'm not sure if it's here. Um, some services, it'll actually recommend some end map scripts that you guys can run for further enumeration. Actually, I think, you know, SMB is another example. It'll, it'll recommend that you run some enumeration SMB scripts um, they can oftentimes prove pretty useful. Uh, so, you know, here we have HTTP and HTTPS, I believe, right? Or no, maybe just HTTP. Um, so it's a web server. You know, it's recommending to run, you know, these various uh, directory brute force word lists. Now, I could use GoBuster for all these or DurSearch or Derb or DurBuster for any of these. Just keep that in mind. Um, you know, these word lists can be used with any uh, directory brute forcer tool. Um, and then here, it's like they give you some more stuff here. So you got Nikto, which is like a vulnerability, a web application vulnerability scanner. So you can run a Nikto scan and it shows you exactly how to do that and exactly how to you know, have it saved to a file for you, you know, the curl command, and also, like, some virtual host stuff, W3M, which I haven't used yet, um, but yeah, it's really cool, like, this is what, this is just the example of HTTP, but if it had other ports open, like I said, it would recommend other stuff, and another thing that's cool is, like, it also runs your UDP scan for you, so we could take a look at, like, what that looks like, um, so that will tell you, well, I think probably in this case, yeah. Okay, there's one open slash filtered service, but if there were, you know, obviously if there were some open services, it would show that as open or whatever. Um, so that's really useful how it just automates it. All you do is you run the that reconnoiter command I showed you at the top, and it does it all for you. The only one caveat is it can take a while for this to complete sometimes, but like I said, it's kind of offset with the fact that, like, as it's running, you know, you can look at the stuff um, and just start digging into it and just have it going in the background, which is what you'd be doing with full scans and stuff anyway. So it's a, it's a really nice, convenient tool and definitely a tool that really helped me in like uh, really once I started using this tool, it improved my recon ability immensely. Now I feel confident in the fact that even if I wasn't using this tool, I'm a stronger enumerator and like um, stronger with my recon because of it. So even if I were to do this completely off of Nmap and stuff, uh, I I could and I would be a better pen tester uh, than I was before I found this because now I know like I actually save some of these like commands and stuff like that uh, to my notes so I can like reference them and just run you know this stuff when I see certain ports open. And it's really cool. It's been a really good one to to learn. Oh look, it tells you exactly the command it ran here. This is the uh, exact command that it used for the UDP scan. And I, I guess similarly, you could probably see that for the TCP scan as well, I'm sure. And, you know, it, it outputs it to all formats, so you can grep through the greppable one or load the XML one into, like, ZenMap or something like that. So super, super cool. Um, let's see here. Uh, if I, yeah, if I look at the quick end map scan, you can, we can see exactly what was being ran there. And let's see, quite a lot of output here, but, um, yep, this is the exact end map command that it ran. So that's really cool too. So it's like, even if I'm not using this tool in the future, 
I know like what commands that I could run to basically do the exact same thing as this tool's doing. So it, it's a really great learning tool as well as like the value that it provides from the scans and stuff like that. Um, and I, and by the way, I, I learned about this through uh, one of the Hack the Box videos from Ipsec. So shout out to him for sure uh, for showing me this tool. Pretty cool stuff. Um, and then in closing, there's one more thing. Yep, let's take a look at the just basic end map. Uh, scan file here and uh, this is the command they ran for that and uh, yeah it, it's pretty much you know your standard full I th it was a full scan I believe right let's see yep this is the full the shorthand notation for all ports so yep you get all this stuff and you know you're they're running the default script so you get like a lot more information as well uh, of like different script output so yeah that this is reconnoiter uh, i hope you guys gain a lot of value from this uh, let me know if you'd be interested in seeing more videos kind of like this explaining like cool tools and maybe techniques or whatever um and uh if you're looking for the next oscp vlog it should be coming out shortly uh if not today then maybe tomorrow um, so yeah, I'll update you guys on that. So yeah, hope you guys gain value from this and, uh, yeah, feel free to leave a comment down in the section below and, uh, yeah, enjoy guys.